In this lesson, we will learn how to split the database within Access. When you're ready to split the database, that means that you are going to enter a multi-user environment most of the time, and you would like to have two copies of the database. This is how Access is designed. You will have one copy that's going to be the back-end copy that's going to contain the data in the tables. And you're going to have the front end copy that's going to have all the components, all the objects such as queries, reports, and macros. This is a major change to your database, so you should make sure that you open in exclusive mode, which we covered in one of the previous lessons in the previous chapter. So you want to make sure you know how to perform that step. And the window that we're going to use to actually split the database will give us a lot more information when we get over to the database. So I'm going to navigate over there. Here is my database that I would like to split into two, the front end and the back end copy. And from the database tools ribbon, you'll see there's a move data and I have access database as the command. And when you choose this command, you'll have just one option, which is to split the database. Now, as we mentioned, this is for multi-user environments and your database should be open in exclusive mode. In the lessons of this chapter, you should always be open in exclusive mode. If you forgot to do so, some of the management tools will remind you to do so, but make that a good habit from the beginning. It's going to give you reduced network traffic. The file size is going to be more effective and efficient when you perform this step. You will need to perform creating a password for your backend copy. If you already had one secured for your front end copy, this tool is not going to generate a second password for that second database of the back end. We will show you in the next lesson how to create that password. And then this could be a long process. You should make a backup of your database, which I also shared in the previous chapter on how to perform that step. So any major changes, open exclusive, back up your database. Let's go ahead and click split database. Here is that file name that it generated by default. And I'm going to, for easy reference, place it in the folder. So this is the original database that I opened. That's right behind this window here. The second file is going to have the underscore BE. You're also going to notice a change in the navigation pane you'll see that there's going to be an, an arrow next to the icons. I'm going to keep everything the way it is and just click split. Database was split successfully. Perfect. I'll choose OK. Here I have all of my objects. This icon tells me that I am linked to another database. So I'm going to go ahead and close this database I will share with you what it looks like here. As I mentioned, the backend copy only has the tables. You can imagine that's going to reduce the file size quite a bit. And in my database, it's down almost half of its size. I will go ahead and open up the backend for you. I'm going to enable the content. And you can see here it only contains the tables. And this is how you can split a table for the back end and front end copy. In the next couple lessons, we will look at how to set a password. And then we will also show you how to take your front end copy, save it into a different file format to secure it even further. And this completes our lesson on splitting the database in Access.